Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to do something which is very common in motion graphics, which is creating that connected line animation. It's actually pretty simple. Here are some of the examples that I made. So yeah, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create this using a really simple example. Then it's up to you how you how complex you want to make it. Let's start off by dragging in a background node and set to black by default. I'm going to change it to white and we will add in an ellipse mask to this so we have this circle shape i'm going to resize this and i'm going to just put it right over here now there is no animation on this so let's just add in an animation real quick so i can right click on the center xy modify with perturb so this will add in this random movement in our shape but it's too intense so we'll just go to the modifiers over here in the top right and reduce the strength so i'm gonna set this to something really small 0 0.02 let's play this and as you can see we have this really simple motion now let's create three more copies i'm going to copy this and paste it down below and this is our second ellipse let's just also rename this to ellipse 2 because this will kind of help us when we will use expression be easier for us to reference to this ellipse on the second one if we take a look at it let's just change its position let's bring it over here and play it now as you can see they have the same animation or the same movement so what you can do is you can click on recede and now we have a different motion in here i'm going to copy and paste it one more time this will be our third ellipse and again, click on Reseed to have a different animation. And also, let's just rename this to Ellipse 3. I'm going to copy and paste it one more time. This will be our Ellipse 4. And again, let's just change the position first. And then we will change the... We'll click on the Reseed a couple of times so that we have a different animation. Now, let's create a line that will connect all these four points. So for that we will need a background and to this background we will add in a polygon mask like that and connect the background 2 with background 1 so result in merge 1. Take a look at it. If you draw the points with the polygon selected over here, the node, you can click on these uh, anywhere. It doesn't really matter if you click on these points or these ellipses, you can click it anywhere. We basically need 4 points. So I can click over here, two, three, four, and I'll just increase the border width, right? So I'm going to set this to this value, but you will not be able to see it. The reason is because it's set to black. So let's just go to this background too and change the color. Now the line is on top of the shape. I want the line behind the ellipse over here. So on the merge one, I can right click and click on swap inputs. So now it will go behind the shapes. Uh, if I play the animation, you can see that the lines, they don't, they are not connected to these ellipses over here. And that's what we are going to do next. So let's select this polygon node and we want to publish these four points. We want to access it. The way we do that is by selecting all of these four points. You can click on this icon to do that. Select all points. And then we want to publish it. So in this down arrow over here, you can click on it. This will bring up the publish menu and you can click on publish points. And now on the right side, you can see we have these four points over here, point zero, one, two, and three. So now all we have to do is link the point zero to lips one center, right? That's the expression we will use. We have to type in ellipse one dot center. Let's go to polygon one, right click on point zero, expression and just simply type in lips one dot center and that is it that's we have just linked the first point to our shape over here and just be careful while writing the expression if you mess up even the casing of this for example if i just do the second e as an uppercase then your expression will not work so make sure that you type it out correctly like so, I'm going to copy this expression 
and go to point one over here right click expression again and i'm going to paste in this expression and change the ellipse one to ellipse two we have connected the second point as well now we will connect the third point to our third ellipse so just simply replace over here and do this for the last point as well so this will be our ellipse four dot center so this is why we renamed the ellipse mask nodes because it would would have been not difficult but just doesn't make sense when you type in ellipse one underscore one underscore one underscore one dot center so this is much easier to read that's why we renamed this node and that is it if you play the animation now you have all the four circle shapes connected to these uh, points and that's how you can create this connected uh, line animation inside of twin resolve in the fusion page and if you want to you can change the size of these four shapes by linking the border width property so if i right click on the border width click on publish and on the ellipse 2 we can right click on the border width connect to ellipse 1 border width do the same thing with ellipse 3 as well connect to ellipse 1 border width ellipse 4 right click on border width connect to ellipse 1 dot border width so now what this will do is it will allow us to use one single border width slider to control all four points like so so that's how you can create this uh, connected line animation so yeah that is pretty much it if you want to you can after this add maybe a duplicate and create a network of these that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching i hope this video is helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects i'll see you guys in the next one